as I go through my Christian life, don't I get better? I mean, that's the thing. Whenever you do something, you get better as you go. Like when, when you first pick up a violin, you know, it, it, it's like the worst sound in the world. You know, it's terrible. But as you go and you keep practicing, then you play for John Williams. And if you're wondering, who's John Williams? I don't know if you talk that way. He's the dude that wrote like Star Wars, right? Star Wars and Jurassic Park and a bunch of stuff. He, it's like if you ever enjoyed the music of a movie, that's him. So you play for that guy. So anytime you practice something, you get better at it as you go. But as a Christian, it's hard. Because as we go, we, we, it seems like we get worse. The gospel reading for Lent, Lent 3 is from Luke 11, where Jesus is talking. He's accused of casting out demons by the power of Beelzebul, right? So he talks, and he's like, no, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And he goes through, and then he talks about this guy that's possessed, and when the demon leaves him, it goes about wandering in everywhere, and then it returns to that man with seven demons worse than itself, and Jesus says the last state of that person is worse than the first. So you're worse later than before. And it's like, well, that doesn't make sense for Christians. We should be getting better. But that's the thing. We have to get out of this mindset. Almost want to grab the camera and shake it. Got to get out of this mindset of here's the demons and here's God, like it's World War II, right? God is General Patton, and the demons are like Hitler, you know, or something like that, or, or Rommel. Look up Rommel, you know, or a really uh, German uh, tank guy. So it's like that, and, and they're equally fighting each other. But that's the thing is, no, here's God, and, and the demons are here. They believe and tremble even. They're not equal to God. They work for God. That messes with us because we're like, how can this be? Demons are bad and God is good. But what do demons do? They harass us. They tempt us. They come after us. They, they cripple us. They eventually show us how depraved we really are. And that's the reality is when the demons come and the temptations come, just like we talked about before, the Canaanite woman confessing, yes, I'm a dog. Yes, I'm, I'm attacked by demons, God. Yes, I, I succumb to them, Lord. Yes, I am weak, Lord. I have these demons. They may not be called Beelzebul or screw tape or Wormwood, but they're the demons of anger, of jealousy, of envy, of strife, of hatred, gluttony, laziness. I have all these things attacking me all the time, coming at me more and more. So as I go through my life, it seems like I'm worse than I used to be. And that's good that you see that, that you see yourself worse than you were. Because now you know how much you must depend on the mercy of Christ. When you are this bad, you cannot save yourself. It's impossible. So the last state is worse than the first as you go. You have to depend, and you, it's even better. You get to depend more and more on Christ, clinging to his voice, his words alone, that you're not saved because you kept away from the demons. You're saved because Christ overcame the condemnation that comes with demonic ways so that you are forgiven, you are saved, and you are claimed under the ages of ages. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.